Brothers walking around here doing double duty, passion fruity, embracing not the closet, but she had the key. Passion fruity, she used it, lost the spirit. She used it, lost the spirit. She used it, lost the spirit while setting his free. Over passion fruity, he sits quietly in the corner with his man. Knowing that his passion is in bland, his lace with the sweet taste almost fruity. But he looks his wife in the eye and tells her he loves her because he feels like it's his duty. Lying in sheets. Lying, he holds her hand in the streets, gripping his own tongue with his teeth, scared it will betray him. His lies become unsheathed. And she wonders why he's always so slow to speak with her. But we'll stop everything to activate his cell phone speaker to holler at Roger, but that's what men do. Roll with the boys. Find Joy and Bonnie, but they don't watch football together. They meet at the mall or at the church hall while I'm singing praises, bouncing off walls, thanking God for giving me love, true. But he always sits next to Roger in the pew, even when I'm not in the choir law. But that's his boy. Nothing I can do is some man law. But I do see how he looks at Roger's sister. I hope he's not going places with her using his boy as a cover. I wonder. I wonder if she notices the way I look in his eyes. Sees his hand on my thigh in the sanctuary. His touch makes me hide. It's, it's all a little scary and I'm wrong for cheating, but I've been momentarily weakened every single weekend, but I'm not gay. I'm just experimenting. And she gets, she gets plenty of love, and I guess no complaining that we're married, so we don't use protection. She gets suspicious if I start a barrier place, and then honestly, y'all, I like penetration. So I close my eyes to escape whatever he puts it in, pretending like this isn't what it is so I don't know where he's been or if he has anything because I, I don't ask. I just like the pressure he supplies more than just his hands and if she were ever to find out, she'd be hard pressed to understand that I need this. And I need her too. Every man has an image he must adhere to. What else can I do? Now Roger has another perspective because his reality is different. See, he's honest with himself about his lifestyle, does what he needs to do with a smile, and people love him if they know or if they don't. And he's trying hard not to fall in love with a married man, there's no need for another heartbreaking, but he's like a drug zone and he's drawn to it. His style, his intellect, his scent, and that's exactly how she describes it. So they both sit separate, passion fruit tea steeping both wife and lover, ready to partake of it hastily. Unknowing that he loves and protects only him. Reveling in his hidden passions, far from bland, he makes sure that it's tasty, almost fruity. See, he be passion fruity. Brothers walk around here doing double duty, passion fruity. Embrace and lock the closet, but she had the key. Passion fruity. So one night he slips. He slips a kiss to his feet in his sleep. Says, baby, please take me. Flips the position, reverse spooning awake, and suddenly she says nothing. Raj, please take me. She says nothing. Watching the key turning, unsure what she's seeing, hearing, feeling her heart breaking, her soul aching. He grabs for him. He grasps her skin. She realizes his affliction, his affinity for cheating, so she forces him to feel her, realize what he is doing. A rude awakening to her on his cell phone, simply communicating. Roger, he's calling for you in his sleep. My husband. I shouldn't be hearing this conversation. Here he is. Take him. He sits baffled, appearances trampled, and she, shackled, forcibly gives him his freedom. Passion fruity. Brothers walk around here doing double duty. Passion fruity. Embrace and lock the closet, but she had the key. Passion fruity. She used it, lost her spirit. She used it, lost her spirit. She used it, lost her spirit while setting his free. This is. This is, this is lesbian licorice. Twizzlers ain't making this. Straw like take a sip, bite a bit, then lick your lips. Grab a she who holds the key and enter in this mystery. 
sultry, pulsating, purple feelings and emotions leaving you open to explore. This is the purple door with door not manipulation. You will be turned open and turned on, turned out and into in, in the most iridescent fashion. Guaranteed satisfaction as my diction strut tongue entices your woman to lap dance. In imitation of the multiple presentations given like orgasmic palpitations from the beginning to the end of this event and if this is sinful, then I've been so fool. Cause your body, your body, your body seems heaven sent. And I just, I just, I just, I just want to taste a little bit get an inkling of your scent. An aphrodisiac, but you attract to amplify my pen, take you through the purple door, initiate imagination, place you on your back, but climax got your curtain reach. Climbing up the walls and bathroom stalls, stroking senses with this fiction, but I'm sure you're gonna wanna straddle something in a minute, DJ spin. Break some friction, show that woman what you're feeling so she can pay attention to the tension as I mentioned the momentum of the liquid you can swim in between her legs, go ahead and dive in, or maybe just choose to drown and witness that woman shifting in her seat cause she's arrived. Into in the purple door, I be the gatekeeper. Well, to love's house. Yeah. And so, in my lifetime, I was fortunate to realize this one fact that led to many other facts in this one poem. This is one fact. When a woman gets her nipples licked, it makes her clit twitch. <laughs> no, yes? Yeah. Oh, okay. My man said, not maybe. <laughs> or straight face. I know that shit. <laughs> when a woman gets her nipples licked, it makes her clit twitch. Nerve centers connected, so your best bet is to perform pre cunning lingus on each breast and less her stress. Impress this empress with the notion that you ain't a novice at this end. Do it like you mean it. I mean it. Don't cheesy porno scene it. Lick like you're sending an SOS message to that twitch, telling the muscle she comes with to prepare to get whipped black free, making her harder than ice to nip a hole in the bottom of her comb, meaning use your jawbone to remove her thong, then puck up for maximum suck. What? Tip, perform a couple of tricks, make sure it's nice and tight, then suck each drop out like it's the best dessert you ever had in your life. <laughs> now touch it with two fingers. I like the middle and the ring. Leaving a space for your chin and tongue to keep working now. Slowly slide them inside for a double dose of sensation. Palm up. <laughs> Is the direction your hand should be facing. Now, now, motion like I'm here without saying a word and watch her come here to the vibration of the way your fingers curve. Now, with any dish you have to season to her taste and I can't tell you how to get her there every step of the way, but you got another hand to make it great. So don't be a pussy, eat the pussy and rush your goddamn face. want to say that with me. That's what I feel. I feel the energy. They're like, yes. Okay. So you got another hand to make it great. You got another hand to make it great. So don't be a pussy. Eat the pussy. Oh, no. I'm going to say that again. You got another hand to make it great. So don't be a pussy. Eat the pussy. And burst your goddamn face and I'll be for real. <laughs> I'm a lesbian, and I'm not saying every lesbian can do this. I mean, they are just you, and I've got superpowers. <laughs> Simple eye contact is women wet and wondering why they're coming, and I haven't touched them yet. See, I be telepathic. I heard you when you thought that, ooh, she can get it. Admit it, you thought it. No need for each dropping on you and your girls walking bursting. I simply sent your mind jumping from talks to me to fucking, and I got superhuman speed for all the pussy I be ducking. <laughs> it gets tossed from ceilings. Believe me, they always want more, so I implore you to listen to this pussy magnet. I attract it at times rejected, but most times I just feast on the sweetest meat to ever be placed in my face. And I got a lot in common with the men in this place. 
But I can cause multiple orgasms without ever penetrating your space. <laughs> and I mean, I can do that too. I got a dildo in the drawer that will never come before you do. Message. <laughs> and I exercise. Got strong thighs and a limber spine so I can duck to wine until the morning time if you want to change the way your insides are designed. But I'd rather lay on my back, let you straddle my neck, strap your ass to my breast and consume your rightness as you ride the Nelson Express and get the experience of a lifetime. And not too hard for my mind, but I make it punk each time you come inside where I reside or where you live or in the car. Head out with you because I know you like surprises. <laughs> And a woman ain't no different from a man when it comes to desires. It's just that her penis is smaller by a few inches and it remains tucked away, a buried treasure, a jewel only for a professional to display. So I am a certified bona fide jeweler. And with my expertise, I explain how to get it glistening and how to make it stay that way. Give you a glimpse into my fortress. Now, some of you may want this with an all expense paid pass, but I like a woman with some thickness, curves, full breasts, some hips with that ass, some fries with that shake, and any other cliche to say, mm, give me body. <laughs> I like an aggressive hottie. So don't be shy, mommy. Don't, don't, don't shock, don't, don't, don't jock me, just shock me into submission. And if you see someone else out there you like, then go and get them. But be sure that you've been listening and keep it safe while sexing. This is Puna. Get some. Any questions? Thank y'all so much.